Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amelia here again, and we did the jiggle on the barrel. We talked about how you could do that jiggling, um, undulating movement also without anything under you, just on the floor of the mat. But we're going to use the reformer, and this is so much fun because you get to play with the moving carriage and the spring, and at the same time, just let yourself just go into your environment. So we're going to show uh, how Amelia gets down onto her side. So we had the headrest up one notch. She is hanging off the carriage just a little bit with her left glute cheek. And then she's going to guide herself down. Her bottom arm is going to come in front of the shoulder block because she's going to cradle the front of that shoulder block. If we needed to have an extra little lift towel pillow under her head, we could do that. Your head feel comfortable there? Or do you feel like you need another towel? It's okay. So her bottom leg and foot are going to be bent and we're going to take her top foot onto the bar and she's going to go out slowly to a straight leg and then I want her to find an external rotation through her femur. So that means that her bottom heel will drop down. Now she can go down a little bit um, higher up onto the ball of the foot because she'll have more action through the ankle there. She feels comfortable with these socks. These are not grippy socks but she's uh, done this before so she feels comfortable here. You might want to have your clients in bare feet and so she's just going to relax trying to let go of the, the, any gripping in the shoulders and the hands and she's going to start to bob her heel under and up a little bit. And then she's really in charge of figuring out where like little micro movements where the shoulders, rib cage, and pelvis need to be to feel comfortable. And then I'm going to have her stop and just hold and I'm going to move the carriage now for her just a little bit up and down. So I'm shaking the carriage and I'm trying to do it as gently as I can and I'm going to check in with her. Do you like that rhythm? Mm -hmm. Good. So it's like we're shaking all of the sand out of her joints into the reformer and onto the floor. Exactly how we did the um, cueing when we were on the spine corrector, right? You could actually do this up to 20 minutes. We don't have the time right now, I wish we did. Um, but now we're gonna bring her foot into a parallel position. So we're kind of looking at um, the femur positions in external, more parallel and then internal. And I'm just having her stay still. She can always feel like a little secret bend in this top knee. And then I'm jiggling the carriage just a little bit up and down. I'm using my back hand behind her back. You can't see my hand, but it's on the carriage. And I'm guiding the carriage up and down. And we have a spring weight of a red and a blue. And then I'm going to have her to go into probably a more difficult position for a lot of pregnant women, especially in the um, stage that Amelia's in. And so here, um, I'm going to just keep her stillish. So I'm not going to have her do the bobbing of the heel up and down. She can feel a softness through her pelvis, around her tail, into her sitting bones, and around her knee joint, letting her diaphragm go letting her belly roll to the carriage, and releasing her face and her jaw. So again, these little micro movements, talking specifically to the, um, the fascia and its receptors, and just trying to create a whisper, a gentle change in that soft tissue, which is really all we're looking for throughout pregnancy, to prepare us for labor and delivery. Keep those tissues mobile, optimal, and always responsive. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.